Hi! And we are going to record the My Screamish Guns episode 4. And here is the gun that fits in the frame the Kalash RK01 or RK01. Yeah, full steel. Hey, the reason why I'm reviewing this gun is that I never did it before, if I remember well. And at this weekend we are going to play uh, at Tokyo Airport uh, a game called uh, Operation Skimeter. And uh, I'm able to do some uh, me medic tasks and play as a medic. And I need a a compact gun for that. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Unjamming rod, magazine, somewhere, battery. I already saw that battery. I never lied many types. And it came with a 8.4 mAh stick battery. Uh, stop for a while and let me say that uh, all Kalash RK uh, 74s are using stick batteries even the RK 06 with full wood stock so yeah it came with the uh, mustard yellow uh, sling casing I like it and the difference between the full steel and the non full steel versions one of the differences is the yellow sling it if it came with a green sling it's a non full steel version <sighs> yeah 74u it's a very compact uh, 74 with a very short barrel and uh, a folding stock which is intended to be used by helicopter screws and we had other, other vehicle screw, screw crews so it's one of the shortest AKs uh, which are exist in the real world the beta is it's a fantasy gun, there is no real counterpart for it. Yeah, okay. It has a trumpet muzzle device as the as my SLR 105 has, but this is a 74 type trumpet device, it is longer, it is steel. It has an adjustable front sight for windage and elevation. Uh, Elevation can be set by a uh, tool which is not provided in the box, uh, but I have one. Uh, windage is can be set by uh, moving this wall ceiling recall part left and right. Uh, front side is steel. Uh, grip is multi-layer laminated wood looks great, feels great uh, it's, it looks more shiny on the video than it is so it is matte the whole gun is black powder coated and we are going to see the other steel parts the backside base the back sight, top cover, receiver, sight mount, magazine catch, trigger guard, skeleton stock, and the skeleton stock uh, locking pin. Okay. <laughs> 
Let's turn it around. And the charging candle. Yeah, let's steal. Hmm. Changes I have made on this gun, changing the hoop rubber. It has now a uh, Garder 50 silicone rubber. I have replaced the battery with uh, two twenty thousand with two thousand uh, Firefox 9.6 because it's just fits in the battery compartment, so doesn't move uh, back and forth, doesn't wobble at all. It's just the size that fits, so it, if it would be 5mm longer it would not fit. Yeah. Whoa. Pretty uh, challenging removing the battery with one hand. Here is the pop-up chamber, standard AK stuff, nothing special. Uh, and this is is the way it can be seen how easy this gun to disassemble. You only need to unscrew this screw and uh, screw at the bottom of the hand grip. Hand grip is, if you take a closer look, a fiber reinforced uh, polyamide, no ABS plastic here, very sturdy, very rigid. Back to the chamber. So two screws removed, and then on the fire selector, after fire selector can be removed, uh, the pistol grip can be removed after removing the screw on the button, and you only need to remove this plastic piece, and the whole barrel assembly can be pushed forward, and after it is pushed, the whole uh, gearbox can be removed by, after removing the charging cable assembly. This is pretty easy and pretty fast, so if anything happens with this gun, it is very, very, very easy to fix and repair. So if you are going to learn some airsmithing or gun tech, this is a very good gun. And all VFC clone guns are very good guns to start with. Okay, I'm putting the battery back. Quite challenging with one hand. Okay. This is the proper way to do it. I'm not going to show you, you have to find it yourself. And it takes a little time, but now, ah, yeah, it's done. Yes, it is an AK, and you may notice that I am the episode 4 with the most chemistry guns, and there are no M4s, M16s, no others, no any kind of uh, US stuff. Mm. Okay, forgive me, that is the button. So, back to the AK. E, there is a reason for that. And the reason is the steel mm, build, the internal simplicity, and the power and the accuracy and the upgradability of, of these AKs. These shoot pretty hard right out of the box. Mm. Okay, kernel time. Putting the mag in. Uh, the gun came with a orange Kalash high cap. I never used that high cap and I generally don't use high caps. So I have. Okay. For some reason, the FPS is dropped a little. 374. 
376 372 375 so pretty good consistency and the accuracy is fine however this gun sit for a long time on the top of my storage and for some reason I have to recheck the compression yeah that's it's easy at least um Chrono did with the Chrono. I like it. It's very compact. It's very well built. All steel. Only the external barrel is aluminium, but in the AKSU, it is doesn't really matter. Nothing shown <laughs> from it. And it's ideal for for. Medic role. What more can I say? Go for it. <laughs> and in case you like the M4 and the wall American stuff, you still can have this for cheap. Not only the Kalash, but there is another, not all steel, but steel built uh, a Saima AKS 74U, or also known as the Green Cove, the CN.045. And that has even better internals and a very good compression. So go, go for it. You can learn a very, very a nice gun tech skills, very easily because it's very easy to disassemble and very easy to reassemble and generally very easy to work on. It's accurate, it's powerful. Uh, the version 3 gearbox in it it's not going to break like other some Chinese version 2s or other version 2s. Uh, yeah I forgot the modification I had the Garda 50 in it and uh, uh, Hornbill uh, high torque short axle motor in the grip and that's all very nice gun all steel, color, all steel made the only exception is the outer barrel the wood parts and the pistol grip and it almost looks like new however I did at least five skills shoot it from beginning to end very solid And however, it doesn't look like a very comfy gun at first sight. Uh, as you skirmish it and you shoulder it, it feels very natural. And the fire selector is very easy to learn and it feels natural to change. Make changes, it's easy to. So, I highly recommend this gun. The 74U from Saima. Is even better internal so that's very accurate and uh, very powerful right out of the box so this shoots 380 around 390 the Saima easily shoots 420 so in some cases it needs some downgrading okay thanks for watching great comment subscribe and thumbs up for me bye